Right then, here's, it's a vlog number six, somehow. Someone managed to do five of these and then record in this one, so it'll be six. And as you can probably tell by the little white hat that's floating around at the bottom of the screen, I have actual Isabel with me. So, you know. I will admit she's dressed like a dick. You know, but that's kind of the point. I don't know what's going on either. It all matches though in some kind of way, you know. She's got the green socks, but weird coloured legging things, a yellow top. Which doesn't look like yellow in this video, does it? The blue belt, which is a headband. You know, I know how to do fashion accessories. Pink under baby thing, whatever you want to call it. And then some white hat. And then snot all over your nose. Because you've got a runny nose for some reason. Probably because of swimming. So yeah, here's Isabel. Do you want to do the vlog? Be easier. Camera's here, mate. You're looking the wrong way. No. You're not going over there. No. Yeah. Look in front of him. <gasps> What's that? I don't care. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. You know, do you want to bounce? Show everyone you can smile and you're not that bad of a baby? No? Don't want to show off, do. She's really fascinated with whoever's over there. Who's that? Who's that? There you are. Don't scare everyone when you're going too close to the camera. Oh, oh they have got my beard to contend with, so look at that. Who's that? I will apologise again about the beard. I know this is the third week in a row I've had to apologise about the beard. But, you know, Rachel can't be asked to cut my hair. And I can't be asked to sit there on my hair cut. I could shave myself. But, you know, lazy, so. Right. What do you want to talk about this week? I was going to do the postnatal depression and where I am now. You know, you might want to close your ears because this is about you. This is about how much I never used to like you. Believe it or not. Look at it. How can you not like that weird thing? Yay! Right. Let's get rid of you because you were pain in the ass to do a vlog with. I'm only joking. I don't mind holding it the entire time. It's just, you know, get distracted, doesn't it? And these vlogs already go on enough as it is. Besides, you know, trying to sort her out at the same time. So, we'll be back now without her. Oh, hang on. We're going to do a thumbnail look. I was after a thumbnail. Do you want to be on the thumbnail? Do I? Then we can write the text in that corner. Boosh. <gasps> I'm done. Right, uh, that's Isabel taken care of. Um, dropped her off with a man. Not dropped her off, she's in the bath. No, Isabel, Rachel. You know, she might call me at some point because Isabel's playing up. But you know, I am still a parent. This is just extracurricular. I mean, I haven't got to do this. Just depends what's going on in there, really. Um, what was I going to talk about? Um, I was going to talk about postnatal depression, wasn't I? And where I am now. If you can hear that, that's her crying. I might have to press pause soon. Anyway. Rachel's fault for wanting to have a bath. It's not, obviously, she's allowed to have a bath. But, yeah. Um... I'm pretty much fine now, and I kind of want to talk about it because um, a lot of stuff you hear about postnatal depression is the bad bit of it. It's like what people have gone through and all the crap they felt. Like like my stuff has all been about that. It's not about how they feel better. Because let's be honest, no one cares that much about someone who feels fine. It's not really a headline. Father of one feels fine. Yeah, that's not going to sell anything. But it's also important. It's important to come out the other side and then to see that. Because everyone who's going through it then can see, ah, oh, at some point I can feel fine as well. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. Or what I am talking about. Don't get me wrong, I still have like off days, but I think that's just a normal depression. I think I'm at a point now where I always used to say when I'm depressed, there's only one person I give any sort of shit about, and that's Rachel. Don't care about anything else. At least now, Isabel's in that category as well. 
I can't imagine hating her. I can imagine having an off day with her. But then that's like anything. I have off days with Rachel. You know. We had an argument last week. Don't I ain't talk about it, obviously. But, you know, you get that. I like having an argument anyway. You know. Gets everything out in your open. Better than just everyone keeping you know, quiet about everything. That's never going to do anyone any favours. But, yeah. Um... But I don't think I'm lucky that I'm out the other side with postnatal depression. I think I deserve it. You know, I work for it. I think that's the thing with depression as well. People th- waiting for a miracle cure. Okay, they're waiting for the meds to kick in. Um, they kind of want someone else to help them out. It's that like you got to take control. That's what I did with postnatal depression. So I fully deserve this. Don't get me wrong, I know a lot of people put a lot of effort in and they still don't get the benefits. You just gotta keep going. That's all it is. Keep putting in the effort. It's like if you want to run a marathon, you don't just get up and do a marathon. You build it up. It's the same as depression. All the days I spent every morning taking her in her bedroom to play with her, didn't want to do it, did it anyway. Bathing her, drying her afterwards, which used to be a nightmare. Taking her away on all the days. Spending all the time with her, having her in the carrier, so I'm constantly with her and forming that bond. It's all things I did. You know, I earned it. So now I'm out the other side, I, you know, it's not just luck. I did work for it, and the same with anyone else with postnatal depression. I think the only thing with postnatal depression, a bit normal depression, um, with normal depression, you've got whatever problems you've got going on, but it's just you. You haven't got, like, a baby is another level. You, you can't, like with depression, I'll tell someone, go do yoga, go do meditation, go for a run, do some exercise, read, get away from the computer and the phone and everything. Baby is a little bit different. You can't just go, right, you sit there, I'm off to yoga for an hour. Not going to happen. So it is a lot harder with postnatal depression to get rid of the stressor, because the stressor is 24-7. But I think you've got to change your mindset, you've got to embrace it, which is what I did with Isabel. I kind of accepted where I was. It's like, no, like she's this 24-7 thing, I'll just embrace it. And I've got support with Rachel. Yeah. Which, I might have to go give her a hand, in fairness, because all I can hear is Isabel screaming. Do you want Isabel back? Let's go get Isabel. Alright, we're back. And here she is. She's back. She obviously didn't want to watch Mammy have a bath. She wanted to be on YouTube. Obviously, little drama queen. That's the light. Don't look directly at it, it's like the sun. We don't look at the sun. Parenting advice, look, see? Don't let your kids look at the sun. That's what you've come here for, look. Get little tips like that. Gonna bounce on the knee, huh? <sighs> Obviously, I'm gonna go off track with what I was gonna say. Yeah, you're gonna smile at the camera. There's your thumbnail, look. Here's your thumbnail. No, daddy, gotta try and print screen it in the right time. And smile! That woman a smile? <laughs> Jesus! Have you got two daddies? Is there one behind you, one in front? Ah! I'd be scared too if it was two of me. You know. Do you want to do the vlog? Wait till you talk. I can get out of this. You can do it. That's the microphone. Do you want to chew a pen or something? You sound like you're going to have a massive crap. Do you want to shit yourself on YouTube? Oh, is that what you want to do? No, do you want a pen? What's this? <gasps> Ooh, pen. Yes, I'm going to chew the pen. You know, oh, oh, who almost poked yourself in the eye on YouTube? That would be good. Jesus, don't make daddy look that bad. Right. Post no depression zone, boys, on order. Yeah. But yeah, I like her now. Yeah, she's fun. It helps her, she's trying to crawl about, she smiles. Every now and then, like if I do this crap, she might smile if I chuck her up in the air. Bye bye, Isabel. I don't chuck her up in the air on this, just in case. One thing if I drop her on the floor in normal life, but don't want to do it on camera. Of course, I can still delete it, but still, it's not in life. Yeah, um, I might do um, live stuff on Facebook soon. So I'll just go on there and chuck the camera on, come up live, talk to some people about postnatal depression and stuff, or whatever you want to talk about, I don't know. I did the postnatal, what's it called, the PND hour, the hashtag, it'll be in the description. 
And that was quite fun, talking to other people with a postnatal depression. I didn't mind that, it was the first time I've actually been on in time. Stop looking at the light. So I'll do that again. But yeah, I might do live stuff on Facebook if you're really that excited about seeing it. I'm going to do the postnatal depression where I am now as a blog. Just because it's much easier to write. It's harder to talk when you're here as well, isn't it? You're fascinated, didn't you? <gasps> no hands. You're going to fall and die. Um. Sorry, I get easily distracted like this. But, you know. I don't know why I've covered in this vlog. Much like all my other ones, I've got no idea what I've actually talked about by the end of it. Don't know if this is worth watching, but you get to see Isabel, so here's proof that I am a dad. Or proof that I've got a baby. Doesn't prove that I'm a dad. I could have nicked this baby. No. I just stole her from someone, to be honest with you. Don't know who she is. Are you mine? I'm guessing she's mine. You never tell. You know, I'm assuming Rachel didn't cheat. Obviously. You don't look like me, mate. You've got blue eyes for a start. I got brown eyes and brown hair. What's this? You haven't really got much hair, mate. You're losing it. Not that it matters. You look beautiful. Um. Yeah. Should that do for this week? Did I sum everything up well? That I'm better now? Postnatal depression done? I like having this one now. For now. Oh, it'll be baby weaning soon. That'll be fun. Don't get too excited. You still have the boob. It's fine. You've got like another six or seven months of boob. Is that fun? And just bounce up and down. Yeah, just bounce up and down. Yeah. Boosh. 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 Now you're just watching a guy and his baby. Right. That'll do. Uh, see you next week. Like I said, do the old usual. If I sit by you'll probably have the subscribe shit. Do all that if you want. You know. Or not. Check the website out on Facebook and all that usual crap and see more of this. If you want to see more of this, close up a visible. Then you're in the right place. Till next week.